Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the Open Day. I'm uh, Dr. Paul Robinson. Um, uh, I'm um, a member of the Eating Disorders faculty um, and um, I'm really pleased to be uh, speaking to you today. So I guess you're here because you, you're considering um, uh, studying eating disorders and clinic, clinical nutrition with us, which is great. Okay, so uh, my role now is to describe the, the uh, um, uh, course and hopefully give you information so that you can make the decision about whether to um, enrol or apply, I should say. Okay, so here are the uh, faculty. Um, the uh, Professor Nathan Davis is the Director of Education and uh, really our boss. He's, he runs uh, all of the uh, nutrition um, uh, qualifications. Um, then there's me, I'm a consultant psychiatrist um, and an academic and uh, I'm the course lead. So um, you'll be seeing me giving some lectures and uh, doing some sessions. Um, uh, then there's uh, Darren Coutina, who's also a psychiatrist. He's a child psychiatrist, whereas I deal with adults with eating disorders. He deals with children and adolescents with eating disorders. And um, uh, you'll, be, you'll be seeing him um, in uh, some of the uh, uh, lectures and uh, events uh, of the course. Um, Dr. Erica Cini um, is uh, also a child psychiatrist and she um, is the uh, module lead for the first module which is um, uh, eating disorders um, uh, clinical science. Then there's uh, John Roche um, who is also a psychiatrist, he's an adult psychiatrist um, and he's the module lead for the treatment module um, in uh, eating disorders. Okay, so um, you want to know who this course is for. Well, it's obvious really, but we're interested in, in students who want to learn more about eating disorders and the scientific basis uh, for eating disorders. And of course, mainly the nutritional basis. That's going to be the, um, the uh, uh, aspect of this course, which is uh, unusual. Uh, you may not um, yet have decided what you're going to do in the future, but um, you may think you may want to work clinically with eating disorders or perhaps perhaps doing research into eating disorders. Um, now, uh, these two points are really important. Uh, and when you, uh, if you apply and um, when you come to write your personal statement, please do address them. Uh, because I get so many, or we get so many uh, applications from students and in their entire personal statement they don't mention eating disorders at all. So um, uh, that's, a, that's a, a hot tip for your um, application. Now um, we do require that students are academically able and for the vast majority that means getting a 2-1 uh, or better in your um, first degree. Um, part of the reason for this is that we ask you to study molecules, um, intracellular uh, processes, um, and um, also to study psychology and the theory of mind and uh, so things such as that, which uh, it, it's, it's demanding. Okay, so what will you learn? Um, this course, this uh, the eating disorders modules and the um, uh, um, uh, dissertation module, are um, uh, are embedded in a clinical nutrition course. So you will learn about biochemistry and other aspects of clinical nutrition. In the two eating disorder modules, uh, you will meet some of the top people from the Maudsley, Janet Treasure, Ulrika Schmidt, all sorts of people. Um, people who've written the NICE guidelines and the, uh, the major papers uh, on eating disorders. And they will describe their clinical work. Um, uh, I have a long history of um, uh, work in eating disorders and publication, uh, which you'll see, and uh, so have the other uh, 
tutors um, on, our, on our course at UCL. And, we, and there are other people at UCL who've been groundbreaking, who've, who've done groundbreaking research in the field. So you will meet um, remarkable people in this course. Okay, um, so um, this I'm going to talk about the um, the first module, which is called Clinical Science of Eating Disorders, and uh, this is uh, these are some of the areas we cover. I'm not giving you every single subject, but um, you will um, look at um, psychological aspects, the uh, 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 the theory of mind, um, the um, uh, psychological changes that you you can see in people with eating disorders, um, the nutritional problems of people with eating disorders naturally, um, the the refeeding syndrome which can occur, uh, the medical problems, all the all the numerous um, medical difficulties, both acute uh, related to acute starvation. Um, and um, and to uh, in in the uh, people with bulimia, uh, the uh, severe um, electrolyte imbalance that you can um, you can see which and and these both can be uh, fatal. Um, and um, in binge eating disorder, the uh, gastric problems and the diabetes that occurs um, in relation to, uh, for example, uh, obesity, which often accompanies. Um, binge eating disorder. We talk about the family, about the uh, difficulties that families um, go through uh, in managing a family member with an eating disorder um, and also uh, the causes of eating disorders such as we know them. Um, we're not sure but we think uh, there are um, uh, predisposing, um, uh, precipitating and perpetuating causes and also that there are um, uh, genetic causes, physical causes, um, and um, psychological causes, and psychosocial causes, particularly uh, in relation to the thin body ideal, which is prevalent in uh, many cultures. Okay, so moving on to the second um, uh, uh, module, which is the second eating disorders module, which is called management. And there we look at management in its most general sense. From the nutritional point of view, we'll look at refeeding. Uh, we'll look at psychological therapies, cognitive behavioral therapies, um, and other uh, individual therapies uh, and group therapies. We look at family approaches, um, in including family support, but also family therapy. Um, we look at the management of the complications, the medical complications and psychological complications of, of eating disorders. Um, the treatments we describe are cutting edge and they're often described by the people who have developed them. Um, and we look at uh, the difficulties of uh, women um, and mothers with, uh, well, pregnant women and mothers who have eating disorders and the difficulties that produces during pregnancy and after um, after the birth of the baby and during the early development of the baby. So very wide um, coverage of uh, all aspects of management. Um, we do use all sorts of teaching methods. Because we're online uh, this year, um, we will be um, making sure that um, we adjust uh, to the online environment. So we'll be using icebreakers. Our lectures are going to be really short, maybe 20 minutes, more than 30 minutes. Um, you'll be asked to do um, exercises such as questions in pairs and feedback. We'll be organizing what's called breakout rooms in the um, uh, software that we'll be using. We'll be using something called uh, Black, uh, Blackboard um, um, Collaborate. Uh, which uh, allows for breakout rooms. Uh, we'll be doing quizzes and polls, you know, asking you what your opinion is on something and uh, say, um, and quizzes about uh, the information you've learnt. Um, and we'll be asking you to go and read specific uh, important papers and um, come back with, uh, with reviews um, and, uh, and, and share them with the group. 
um, and many other uh, approaches. We will really be, be, be using every approach we can think of to make the online experience as, um, uh, as uh, good as possible. Okay, now the dissertation. This is the biggie. Um, it's uh, big. It's equivalent to three modules in work and uh, in, in credits. Um, it's um, from 10 to 15,000 words, so it's uh, quite a, quite a, a weighty uh, piece of work. Um, yeah, the subject can be anything within eating disorders um, or of relevance to eating disorders. Um, and um, you, you can submit, and other people in the past have submitted systematic reviews, surveys, analysis of existing data sets, uh, qualitative studies, and virtually anything reasonable and within the virus environment practicable. Um, you'll be supervised by one of us or one of the other um, members of our um, uh, supervisory team, uh, and uh, each of them will be an eating disorders expert. And if not that, there will be an expert who is relevant to your particular subject. So what can you do with the MSC in the future? Um, it's um, just to say something, it's not, it's not a clinical qualification like dietetics, so you could then go apply for a job in a hospital as a, as a nutritionist. That doesn't follow from uh, the MSC. However, it does give you associate membership of the Association for Nutrition. Uh, which is a very important um, qualification. Um, it allows you to be an assistant to a nutritionist or to a dietitian in a hospital, for example. Um, and so it's, um, it is something that, uh, that is very, very much worth having. Um, and uh, we've um, spent a long time with the Association for Nutrition making sure that our course, the MSc course, is... Um, uh, is, uh, gives enough experience and knowledge uh, to qualify for an association with the nutrition. You can look up the association with nutrition on the internet just to see what I'm talking about. And in the past, um, our students, our alumni, have gone on to do dietetics and to take uh, senior positions in the NHS um, or in, uh, in private practice. Um, uh, they've gone on to do research and doing PhDs. Um, some of them have uh, gone on to do medicine um, and others have uh, qualified as clinical psychologists. Uh, much the better for having um, done our degree uh, because they really are experts in eating disorders when they come to apply for um, clinical posts and lots of other things which I uh, haven't got uh, time to mention. So now a couple of uh, quotes. They are on our website if you want to have a look at them. So this is one from Anya, uh, qualified this year. Um, I've recently completed my part-time MSc in eating disorders and clinical nutrition. The course was invaluable in providing expertise and networking opportunities in my career as a specialist eating disorders occupational therapist. My dissertation focused on conducting research in order to develop an occupational initial assessment for use in clinical practice. Uh, the taught modules particularly increased my knowledge and understanding of eating disorders science and treatment, as well as research methods and the science and biochemistry involved in nutrition as a whole. So that's one uh, satisfied customer. And another one here uh, from Isa Robinson, who's no relation to me but uh, who I supervise, very uh, happy to do so. Um, UCL offers one of the only MSc programmes in the world on um, the subject of eating disorders. Um, I've learnt a huge amount over the two years as a part-time student and met so many wonderful people from all over the world, many of whom I'm still in touch with. So to conclude, uh, it's, it is a unique uh, degree. You won't find nutrition and eating disorders really anywhere else um, and uh, we're very proud of it it's now been going um, for uh, uh, eight years um, and uh, it's, uh, it's um, an extremely successful um, degree and um, 
we now have uh, alumni from the course all over the world doing really exciting things and um, I'm happy to recommend that you consider it for your future. Thank you. Goodbye.